Hey Stampers, Diane Dimich here with DeeDeeStamps.com and today I'm going to show you how I made these cards. These are actually going to be my thank yous for this month. So if you place an order with me, you'll be getting one in the mail. But I love how they turned out and I just want to show you quickly how I did it. So to begin with, I'm using this stamp set, Egg Corny Thank You, which this is one of those stamp sets that I was like, hey, I don't know. But after playing with it, I've had a lot of fun and I think you will too. So it also comes with a punch or we have a punch. This comes as a bundle where you save 15%, but it's great. Um, even if you just got the punch, it's kind of fun to have a punch that does acorns. But let me show you the easiest way that I have found to work with these two, two items together. So to begin with, what I've done is I take my punch and I'm just using a regular piece of um, Whisper White cardstock here. This was just a scrap I had. And I actually punch out my images first. That's kind of not the way we normally do it. We usually have the stamp the images and then punch them out. But I have found with this particular set, certainly don't want both of my, um, looks like I got a little fuzz here on my stamp. Let me get that cleaned. I don't want both my image and my, or my, my acorn and my top of my acorn to be the same color. So I'm gonna take one of the acorn images from that stamp set, I'm gonna ink it up in soft suede. And you can see how you can just quickly line that up and stamp it down right onto that die cut. And then I'm gonna come in with my acorn top and actually stamp this on my other piece of die cut. And then those get lined up just like that and they line up perfectly. So that is a quick way to do the, um, the punching. Like I said, I like it to, I like to punch out my paved cardstock and then add the stamp later. And of course, you could punch these acorns out with colored cardstock and stamp over them or whatnot, but that's just a really quick way to make your acorn. And then I used the um, Into the Woods cardstock for this particular project. Now, this is just a small sheet of it. Uh, I'll put all the measurements and the supplies I used on my website, and I'll also list them down below in the description. But it's three and a quarter by four and three quarters. And then I'm using our note cards and envelopes to make the, the card bases. So these are sold, you can get 20 in a pack, um, card bases and envelopes that coordinate. So to begin with, I, I like this color of paper and I thought it was beautiful, but what I found was if I sponge color on top of that, and I'm using Old Olive, it just tones down that, that brightness of that cardstock, and I loved it even more. So I'm just sponging Old Olive right over the top of that. And that, like I said, it's just to tone it down a little bit so it doesn't get too overpowering on my whole project. And then I'm going to adhere this to my card base. And you'll see where I just leave, with, with the measurement that I used, I have a little border that goes around. So you get a white border. So if you don't want a border, just measure your cardstock the exact same side as the card. And then I came in with my two and a half inch punch and a scrap of that same cardstock. And I'm just going to go ahead and slide my punch in there and punch out a circle. And attach that onto my card base. And then using a dimensional, I'm going to come in with a dimensional and add my little acorn onto that. And then finally, the last thing is I took the, the stamp set or the thankful stamp from that set. I don't know if you can see this very well, but it also has a coordinating framelit to cut out the banner. Somewhere here, I have one cut. So I went ahead and stamped that image and then cut it out with the matching framelit to make my little banner. And this, I'm just gonna place right over the top of that. And that's how quickly that card goes together. But it's just a whole lot of fun. And then of course, then I also decorated my envelope because you can't, you have to have a decorated envelope. So you can just come in with the acorn. And the top. And how quickly you coordinate with your, with your card. So there you have it. Just a really quick way to use that acorn punch. Um, if you haven't done so, you may want to visit my website, sign up for my newsletter where I offer tips, tricks, and techniques each week. Um, thank you, and I hope you have a great day.